Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. Can't believe it's October already. And it's still kind of hot outside here in North Texas, but saw that the temperature is gonna drop this week to the highs in the mid 80s, which is going to be wonderful. And I think the lows will be in the 50s. But anywho, since this is still October, I like to show you what's been my favorites for the month of September. And in this video, I like to let you know what I like, what didn't work for me, and some that I still need time to try. And also in this video, there are a couple things that I forgot to mention in last month's favorites video. So I'll let y'all know about about that in here. So let me go ahead and show you the two things that's been my favorites from last month that I'm still using this month and I used it today. It's the number one day Chanel skin enhancers and I did do a video on these and I'll link it down below. I did get all three shades and the one that I use for this look is this one medium coral. I use this one as a primer to put underneath my foundation but you can also use it by itself without any foundation because it does have a little bit of a tint to it. The other two shades that I got this one's the lightest one soft pink and the other one is the deepest one which is intense amber and actually I do like all three they work for me depends on the type of foundation that I'm using if I'm using a kind of like a, a darker foundation I would put this underneath if I'm using a light foundation I'll put this one but most of the time I do use this one medium coral and how I like to apply it is using this brush from Sonia G the sheer buffer when I use my fingers, I see that it kind of sinks into my pores. With this brush, it just buffs it on without sinking in my pores, and I do like that. And it spreads very nicely. It has that beautiful Chanel scent. And whichever skin enhancer I use, you can kind of see it underneath my foundation, and that's why I like all three. So yeah, this is what I forgot to mention last month. And the other thing that I forgot to mention is this brush carrier from Sonia G, and it's called the Hound's Tooth Brush Envelope because it's shaped like an envelope. There we go. I do love this little dust cover that it comes with. And I did get this in the Beautylish Lucky Bag of 2023 of this year. And I finally used it when we travel. It's a nice carrier for the brush. It's very slim. And I do like with the snap and Velcro here and here. And then you open it up and here is what it looks like. It has this little flap to protect the brushes here and has loops on this side and on this side. So this was a nice way to carry the brushes on our trip. And again, I do like this little dust bag and you just put it in there and you're ready to go. Now let me give you an update on this foundation that I've been trying for several months now. It's by NARS and it's the light reflecting foundation. In that favorites video, I was still kind of debating if I liked it, I needed more time to try it. And unfortunately, I don't think that it works well for my skin. I know this is a cult favorite, but every time I try it, it just looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. And it shows my texture and looks a little thick on my skin. And also, whenever I wear this foundation and my husband comes home, he'll look at me and say, that foundation looks a little dark. And it is a little dark. It's in the shade Syracuse, which is medium to medium deep with warm undertone. Now, I'm more neutral. And the next shade that's down that's more neutral, it's like four shades lighter because everything in between is either warm or cool and I thought I was going to get a sample of that shade but I thought no I'm not going to try because I don't like how it looks on my skin I'm wearing it right now I know it looks good on camera but up close it just looks a little thick and just shows my texture and the color does kind of match me now because I am darker but this foundation will only work for me for just a few months it is a natural finish medium coverage but unfortunately this foundation does not work for me. Now let's get to the products that I've been trying for the month of September and let's start with the eyeshadow and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Fall Romance Palette. I think it's beautiful. I know this is a deep palette. It's not for everyone but for me I kind of like it because I'm able to use every shade in this palette. Some palettes I can't use because it's too light, doesn't show up on me, or it looks a little dirty. But I do like this palette and I also did a video on this one. I'll link it down below. I'll link all the videos that I did with the products that I use. But this shade, Midnight, the look that I did with this one, it's my favorite look. This deep purple. Very pretty. Now some of the shades are a little dry when you touch them, but they apply on the lids very nicely. They blend nicely. But the shades that I use for this look is this khaki shade Leather. Put that in the crease. And then this Eggplant shade Crimson in the outer corner. And then this metallic shade Smoke on the lids. Now Smoke is a pretty taupey shade, but this shade Midnight, it's my favorite shade. And I do like this palette and I will reach for it too. 
And again, it's not for everyone because I know it's a deep palette, but I do like it. Now, one thing as I'm looking at it, I do wish that they kind of switched out the green shades because these two are kind of similar. But all in all, I do like this palette, this fall romance palette. Next, I want to show you this from Hourglass. It's their 2023 holiday collection, the Ambient Unlocked Edit. They came out with three different palettes and four different packaging designs that you can choose from. The one that I picked is the deepest one, the number three that came in the snake palette. Not a big fan of snakes. I don't know. I just don't like snakes. <laughs> we do have them here around the house and I just don't like them. So I picked the owl palette and I do like this snowy owl. So yes, this is the deepest one and there are five new shades in this palette. The other two, I believe one of them only had one new shade and then the middle palette, I believe it only had three new shades. So this one was a sought after one because it has five new shades and the only existing shade was this finishing powder which is radiant light and when you know it this one's my favorite shade of this palette i use this one underneath my eyes in my t-zone all over my face and i think it just looks beautiful the hourglass powders y'all know it's such a beautiful formula it just looks so nice in the skin melts into the skin so there's this finishing powder three blushes a highlighter a strobe light and a bronzer now this bronzer it is kind of light on me. It has more of a reddish tint on my skin tone. And sometimes I'll use this one as a finishing powder. So even though this is the deepest palette of the three, if you're my skin tone or deeper, I think using this one as a bronzer, it's going to be too light. Probably use it as a finishing powder for underneath the eyes, maybe all over the face. But for a bronzer, I think it's just a little too light. Now the blushes are very pretty, very pretty. Just wish that they kind of changed it up with these two because they do look similar. One's a little bit more subdued. This one's a little bit more brighter. This one I kind of like to use in the apples of my cheek. But I didn't use any of the blushes from this palette. The only thing I used from this palette was uh, the bronzer and the finishing powder. So I use the blush from other products. But when I use this one, I kind of mix the two. But again, the hourglass formulas are beautiful. Now, if you have something similar to this, and I did do a video on it and I did some comparisons, probably don't need this palette. But I am glad I got it because I just found out that this finishing powder, Radiant Light, is my favorite. Because it's more like a, a peachy tone powder. It's going to be kind of hard to see it on my skin there, but yeah, it just blends out very nicely without looking ashy on me. And I will be using this one quite a lot, especially that finishing powder. Now let's talk about Lisa Eldridge new Seamless Glide pencils, and I kind of like these too. I'm using Burnt Umber in my waterline right now, and it kind of makes the look a little softer. Now this shade Burnt Umber, Burnt Umber, umber it's more like a warm brown you kind of have to be careful with this shade because it can make you look a little sickly depending on the eyeshadow shades that you use but for me in this look i think it works great it doesn't move stays in the waterline it doesn't go into the inner corner of my eye and then i've used this one black treacle beautiful deep black shade I've used this one in my waterline, lower and upper lash line. Instead of a liquid liner, I use this as a pencil. It doesn't tug my lids and it stays on. Then I have ground coffee, which is more like a cool tone brown. Cinder smoke, which is a gray. And then this beautiful shade, night forest, deep green, very pretty. And if you put them in the lower lash line, blend it out, it looks beautiful on. Now the one thing, it doesn't come with a pencil sharpener. I know a lot of lip pencils, eye pencils, brow pencils doesn't come with a sharpener but sometimes you kind of want that added touch but i'm not going to fault these for that because these are a beautiful pencil i believe these cost 32 dollars each and they glide on very seamless like the name entails and it doesn't move in my waterline which is the big test for me now i know that this eye is watery it's just that time of the year but yeah these are nice eye pencils now let me show you these lipsticks from hermes these are the shiny lipsticks for the fall and winter collection i love these i love the shades and i love the packaging look at that let me show you this one, 84, and this one's my favorite packaging. Love that purple, black, and orange. This one's Rouge Abisse, and it's such a beautiful color. Now, this is the shiny lipstick, so it does have a sheen to it, and it's not very 
very pigmented on the lips. It's kind of like a light wash of color and with these being a deep shade, it looks beautiful on. Because sometimes deep shades can look too heavy or too overpowering, but what's great about these is that even though it's a deep shade, it doesn't overpower the look. Now this formula does not stay on, does not stay on for a long time, but it's such a beautiful color, beautiful formula, very nice on the lips. This one's number 90, Prune Noir, and this one's like a plum purple with pink. Rouge Abyss is more burgundy. And then this one, number 77, Rouge Bruni. Beautiful red shade. It's kind of on the neutral tone. Now the one in the middle, number 90, it is more of a cool tone, plummy shade on me. I have to be careful because it does look like, you know, I need oxygen or something like that. I did mention that in the video. But the formula is beautiful. The shades are beautiful. Love these lipsticks from Hermes. The Prism Libra brush from Givenchy. This is a limited edition shade in the number 14, Tool Violet. This one we cannot get in the States. And unfortunately, I do see that it's sold out on Food Aid Japan's website. And that's where I got it from. I also did a video on this one and other blushes from Givenchy. Because we can finally get them here in the States. Except for this one. As you can see, there are four different shades in this powder blush. You just tap some on the lid, get your brush, and apply it on your cheeks. And the Givenchy uh, blushes, I keep wanting to say brush, they're very beautiful, melts into the skin, doesn't look powdery at all. Now, it can be messy because it is a powder. I mean, here's the little buff that it comes in. There we go. Here is what this blush looks like. Whoops. See? It's messy. It's more like a cool tone pink. Even though this came out for fall, it looks more springy to me. I do like the formula of the Givenchy blushes, but even though we can't get this one in the States, try looking at the, the ones that we can get here. There are six shades, and again, I did do a video with three shades that I have, and those are my favorites, and I've added another one to my favorites, the shade number 14. Unfortunately, we can't get it here, but hopefully they'll start bringing more of those shades to us here in the States. Another video I did, I showcased four brands, all women owned and made here in the USA. And pretty much everything that I tried, probably about 90% really do like. Let's start with this brand, Face Forward. She's a makeup artist out of Houston. She has skincare, she has makeup. And I did pick up a couple of skincare products, which I forgot to bring one here, and makeup. But let's talk about this skincare product. It's the Glow Mask. This is a really nice mask. It does give your skin that added boost and it cleanses your skin too. And here's what it looks like. It's a thick paste, kind of like charcoal paste. And I use it this morning, just apply it to the skin, use your fingers to rub it in, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then rinse off. And your skin just has that glow to it, looks clean, feels very nice. And the scent smells very clean. Love that clean scent, like like soap. Let me get the other skincare real quick. The other skincare products from Face Forward is this exfoliating enzyme scrub. It's a very gentle scrub. It's more like a creamy scrub and it does have the exfoliation beads in there, but again, it's very gentle on the skin. It will clean out the pores and the scent of this one also smells very good. It smells like papaya, like a pina colada almost. <laughs> now let's get to the makeup from Face Forward Cosmetics and I have this face palette. This one's not my favorite because I think it's just too light for my skin. Do like the blotting powder and the three eyeshadows, the bronzer and the blush, a little light for my skin. But I can use those for other things too, like a transition shade or whatnot. But I do like the eyeshadows, especially this one, burgundy shade, very pretty and it's very creamy. Let me just swatch that. I mean, just glides on very nice. But unfortunately, the bronzer and the blush not my favorite, but the formula is nice and I do hope that she expands on these products. I did pick up a mascara, the XLXL mascara. Love this mascara. And I used it on top of another mascara that I'll show you, but this one really thickens my lashes. The other mascara linkses it without clumping and this one don't see any clumping, don't see any flaking. It separates each lash and these two mascaras it's my favorite go-to, but we'll get into this one soon. It does come with a curved wand, really thick, and two coats on top of one coat from the other mascara. I think it really does lengthen and thicken my lashes. The last two products from Face Forward are these lip products. Now the lipstick, I haven't used it that much, so I can't tell you about the formula. The shade Melrose, it is a pretty color. It's like a cool blue tone pink. And I do like the 
the shape of the bullet hugs the lips really nice. I only used it once, so I really can't tell you. So I need more time on this lipstick. But the lip pencil, I love. And I went ahead and ordered, I believe, two or three more of these lip pencils. I'm wearing this one right now, Lady Godiva. It kind of reminds me of the Lisa Eldridge pencils because it stays on. So here's the lip pencil, Lady Godiva. Again, I picked up, I think, two or three and a little bit more deeper. But yeah, really impressed with these lip pencils. Again, I wish it came with the sharpener, but I understand a lot of these don't. But it's okay. It's okay. So those are the things from Face Forward. Now let's talk about American Woman Beauty. I am loving this brand. Let's start with the primer, and this is called the Velvet Veil Moisture Silk Foundation Primer. Very nice primer. It's kind of kind of like the one by Smashbox. And I use this one underneath the one by Chanel. And honestly, I think that's a great combo. I think I found a nice combo because I like to double up my primers, love to double up my mascara, love to double up my blushes sometimes. But with this primer, it has a nice slip to it, plays well with the skincare that I have underneath it. It does blur the pores and it has a nice slip to it. I also got their mineral powder foundation. Fortunately, I got the wrong shade, so it was kind of throwing me off. But the formula is very nice. It only has five ingredients, which isn't bad, which is a good thing. You don't want too many ingredients on your skin. This one's in the shade tan, so it's a, a little bit light. So yeah, I picked the wrong shade. But eventually, I will get a deeper shade to see how it looks. But when I tried it, I only tried it once, unfortunately, because the color was throwing me off. It blended very nicely on the skin, too. It didn't sink in any pores, didn't look powdery, but it was just throwing me off with the color. I picked up an eyeshadow palette, Free Thinking Woman. Love that name because I kind of think that I am a free thinking woman. This one has four shades in here. It's an everyday palette. I love these two shades right here for the crease and for the outer corner. And these two shades, I can use this one to set my primer, my eye primer, and this will be beautiful in the inner corner. Very creamy shades, very pretty, and I love these two in the middle. They have a felt tip liquid eyeliner. Love this one too, and I use it for this look. Comes with a nice felt tip. And this one just glides on the lids without tugging. A nice deep black color. And I do like that you can just put it up against your lid to give you that wing look right there. And when you apply it on, the color doesn't leak up into my crepey lids because I do have the crepey lids. It stays in place. The felt tip is not stiff and it just glides on the lids very nicely. Now the other mascara that I like to use with the One by Face Forward is this mascara from American Woman Beauty. It's called the Long Lash and this one has a, a straight spoolie, kind of like a Christmas tree. Now this one, it lengthens the lashes without clumping and it's great for the lower lash line too. But when I put this mascara and this mascara together, I think it works great. It gives me, like I said when I talked about this mascara, gives me the length and the thickness, both together. Now my new favorite lip combo is with this lip pencil from Face Forward and this liquid lipstick and lip pumping gloss. Love this combo together. It's what I'm wearing right now and this liquid lipstick stays on. This is in the shade Thin Line, a beautiful beige nude. This one right here. It's very creamy when you apply on. Now this is a liquid lipstick, so it will dry down, but when I place this plumping gloss on top of it, it's very comfortable on, and let me tell you, it stays on. Whenever I wear this combo together with the lip pencil, the lip color was on my lips for hours, even while I was drinking, even while I was eating. Very comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky, it's not drying, especially when I put the gloss on top of it. But this formula, it stays on. And I do like this color and I went ahead and ordered more shades of the liquid lipstick. Yeah, I didn't even have to retouch my lips this whole video. Very pretty, very comfortable. Love this combo, love it. The other two things I have from American Woman Beauty are blushes. Let's talk about this one, Blush Fusion, which is Raspberry Frost. Now this one does have highlighter in it. And when I first tried it, I went a little heavy handed with it. So my cheeks were a little bit too shiny. But this is such a beautiful pink shade. And I did use this one in the apples of my cheeks and as a highlighter. You can see that it's a great highlighter. And the other one's Garden Bouquet and love the embossing of this one. And this one's another beautiful blush. It's kind of like a a coral, more of a matte finish. So those are the things that I have from American Woman Beauty and love their products, love it. The next brand is this one, Virtue Beauty, but they changed their name to Chapter 3 Beauty Company because they are in Chapter 3 of their life. 
love that. And what I got from them are six eyeshadows and one blush. And the blush is what I'm wearing right now. This one's called Marvelous, and it's a beautiful mauve shade. And the eyeshadows are very creamy, very pigmented. Love the six shades. And you'll see the six shades swatched here. And I'm looking forward to see what chapter three has in store for them. Let's talk about these liquid lipsticks from Elevate Beauty, another beautiful formula. And I just saw that she came out with lip glosses and eventually I will pick up a couple of those lip glosses. Her liquid lipsticks, beautiful and I love the packaging. Oh, do I not have it right? So here's the packaging, very, very elegant I think. Let me go ahead and swatch these. First you have She Will Not Fall, Fact Check Me, Uncancelable, and faith over fear. Now my favorite shade is uncancelable, but whenever I apply this one, it's kind of a little light for me. She will not fall in the middle of my lips. I think it kind of makes my lips look a little fuller. And this is another liquid lipstick that's very comfortable on, and I love what these brands are doing. Well, all right, you guys, got a lot of products here that I've been trying for the month of September, plus a couple from last month. A lot of things I love, a couple things aren't my favorite, and one or two I still need more time to play with. But anywho, I do hope that you enjoy this video and you enjoy the October weather we're having now, or will be. And thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!